Blessed morning, beloved, and welcome back to another episode of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is October 16th, and our title is, The Resurrection Brought Us Justification. Our opening verse is from 2 Corinthians 5.21, and it reads, For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Praise God. The Bible says in Romans 4.25 that Jesus Christ was delivered for our offenses. That is, he died on account of our sins and was raised back to life for our justification. 1 Timothy 3.16 says he was justified in the Spirit. Why did he have to be justified in the Spirit? The reason is that he was made sin for us, as read in our opening scripture. He became the very embodiment of sin. This is truly astounding because the Bible doesn't merely say that Jesus was made a sinner or a sin offering, but that he was made sin. This means the very character and nature of sin were placed on Jesus. He became the very embodiment of what we were. Our nature of sin was what he became. Until you understand this, you won't understand the life of the new creation and how indeed we became the righteousness of God in Christ. Think about it. The one who knew no sin, who was never involved in sin, he never spoke an unkind word or said the wrong thing. That sinless one was made sin for us so that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. Wow! After taking on our nature and the punishment for our sin, He was raised from the dead with a new life. And according to the Bible, we were raised together with Him. And this is in Ephesians 2.6. When He was raised back to life, God said in Psalms 2.7 and Acts 13.33, Thou art my Son, This day have I begotten thee. This is crucial because it marked when Jesus was born again. He was born again when God raised him from the dead. By his resurrection, therefore, we were also resurrected because we were in him. His was a vital resurrection and ours was a legal one. But the moment you receive Jesus Christ as Lord, This legal resurrection became a vital experience in your spirit. You were immediately brought out of the domain of darkness and catapulted into the kingdom of God's love son with legal righteousness. You were justified. His resurrection brought us justification. As read in Romans 4.25, preferably in Amplified Classic Version, he said, who was betrayed and put to death because of our misdeeds and was raised to secure our justification, our acquittal, making our account balance and absolving us from all guilt before God. Hallelujah! Praise God! What a great love! What a great love God has for us! How can we not but praise and worship Him? and love him so ever dearly. Wow, this is just so powerful. Let's now raise our hands and declare this prayer together with all your heart. Say, Blessed Father, I rejoice knowing that the Lord Jesus was raised for my justification, my acquittal, Now I've been declared not guilty and made righteous in Christ Jesus. I live with the consciousness of my divine nature. 
celebrating my sin-free life in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. If you are up or in the car, just do a little dance unto the Lord right now because this is something to celebrate every day. Praise God. In our further section today, we have three powerful verses that we really should meditate and take time to read to really grasp the full idea of today's Rhapsody. Let's look into Romans 4, 23 to 25, Romans 5 verse 1, and Acts 13, 38 to 39. Hallelujah. You are blessed, beloved, abundantly, supernaturally, just completely by a loving God who gave everything that he had for your freedom. Praise God. Remember to share this Bible verse. Share this Rhapsody with three people in your contact list today. Let them too celebrate and rejoice in their life knowing that they are not bound by sin and shame or whatever they have done in their past. But God looks at them as his children as Jesus and he says I love you so we'll see you again tomorrow and as always you are blessed received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you lord for saving my soul i have eternal life now i'm a child of god now i am born again thank you lord if you just said that prayer along with pastor chris congratulations welcome to the family of god Rhapsody of realities Giving you life a meaning every day My life made perfect with Rhapsody